Remember what Stu Scott said that uh, black people can't be racist? He actually meant it. That's the problem. Now, I'm not saying all black people, but the black people that are racist, they truly don't believe they're racist because they believe they're justified in being racist for shit that happened centuries ago. That's why they're the worst racists of them all. They truly believe that what they're doing, they're allowed to because of the shit that happened centuries ago that I had no part in. My father had no part in. His father had no part in. So they hate white people. They believe that black Anything black is great and anything white is evil. That's the problem. Black people, the racist ones, not all of them, truly believe that they're justified in their actions to hate white people. And that's the problem right now. This whole Black Lives Matter, when it started, it was authentic with Trayvon Martin. Now it's all Antifa. It's like 80% white. It's just a hate group. And it's basically giving all the black racists and the white racist motherfuckers Antifa I call them white racists because they're scumbags. Antifa, all they want to do is just start riots. It just gives them an excuse to go out there and do what they're doing. So they think it's justified. So when someone's going out there burning the statue, they're oppressed. That's their excuse for doing it. They're justified in doing it. And that's why they're not being held accountable. And they need to be held accountable. And if Trump steps up and tries to do the right thing, people say he's a fucking racist. That's the problem with America right now. Trump's being labeled a racist even though he isn't a racist. He's done more for the African-American community than Obama ever has. But he's being labeled a racist every time he tries to do the right thing. If Obama was the president right now, he'd be marching with Black Lives Matter. He'd be marching with Antifa. Trust me, he would. You know it. Thank God for Trump. If Obama was the president right now, we'd be in the Civil War. You know it and I know it. So when Stu Scott said that about black people can't be racist, he actually meant it because they truly believe they're justified in their acts with hate white people. And that's the problem right now with America. This whole racist stuff going on right now is starting, it's it's basically being fueled by the African-American racists. Now, I'm not talking all of them. There's probably 1% demographic of African-Americans that are truly racist. And there are white racists, don't get me wrong. White racists are scumbags too. But the black racists are fueling the fire. People like Race Bader himself, Al Sharpton, trying to say he ain't racist. Every time I see him, it looks like he's trying to fuel the fire, race baiting. He probably thinks he's not. You know what I'm saying? It just it doesn't make any sense. And thank God Trump, because if it wasn't for Trump right now, we'd be in a civil fucking war. You know and I know it. Because what's going on in America right now would not happen in Russia. Putin, not, Putin would not stand for that shit. That fucking fat slob over there in South Korea, he wouldn't stand for it either. But Trump has his hands tied. Because anytime he tries to make a movie, he's being a corner racist. So <laughs> you better hope Biden doesn't win. Because if he does, we're done. We're done. Trust me. And I know people are going to say, this guy's racist, look at him, I fit the prototype, fucking bald-headed white dude, 50-year-old, I'm racist, they can label that all you want, I don't give a fuck, I don't have a black sister, but I'm not racist, trust me. If anything, I get along better with African-Americans than I do white people, but I don't like people in general, I like animals better.